Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and this is the season 1 finale of Taskmaster which means, as promised, right now on Patreon you can go watch the first two episodes of season 2 that's patreon.com slash FWCI these are going to continue to go up weekly but if you want two weeks early access to Taskmaster and you want to support the channel and join me on this journey that's where you can do it patreon.com slash FWCI or just subscribe here on YouTube and hit the like button and leave a comment that also helps a hell of a lot and uh, I know that this series picks up quite a bit after season one so this first season has been just a little bit of an appetizer for me but this is the kind of show that I I know I'm gonna love because I love this kind of format and once I get a bit more familiar with who the comedians are that are on here I know I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more and I can really get into the humor the same as all of you have I mean you know what I'm talking about you've all been through this so far Ramesh has been my favorite followed by it's oh, it's hard to say Tim Key and Frank Skinner are both like equal second for completely different reasons then probably um uh, Josh Whittacombe he's had a few decent moments and I'm sorry Regine but you are dead last as you usually are on the show is she gonna win the finale but let's jump into this season one episode six the last supper He's looked exactly the same for nearly 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen baby pictures, it's weird. <laughs> it's the legend that is Mr. Frank Skinner. <laughs> Reached the age of 12, he thought, yep, I'm sticking with this. It's Josh Whittaker. <laughs> he does look like a giant child, doesn't he? Asleep on my sofa with 14 penises drawn on her face. Oh. Roisin Conaty. Roisin, why are you asleep in Greg's apartment so much. A lovely, kind man. Probably my favourite, really the loveliest of all the contestants, Mr. Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> Let's uh, have, start the show with some traditional high-level banter between us. Okay, I've been practising. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Four. No, four. Is that banter? Four. In it. Today you've asked them to bring in their most satisfying item. Let's get some points. Satisfying is this week's theme. Fish uh, chowder. <laughs> Awful retching that's brought on by fish poisoning. That looks very watery for a fucking chowder, man. I'm not prepared to do that, but my assistant is. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. But I don't oh, understand. Oh. That's my cooking. <laughs> I have brought in um, my vape mod. <laughs> what does that do? You know what's so great about it is it stops you smoking and you feel like you're giving Robocop a blowy. <laughs> There's a tool you can get, it's called the Orgasmatron. Oh my god, that's amazing! And you do that to yourself. Oh my god, they cost like two bucks. You get those in show bags. I get the vape thing, get that. I've got a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> 2014 World Cup sticker album. They're all there, they're all in order, they're all in place, they're all aligned. Not the best photo to show it off, really. <laughs> Could be empty. Um, an anti-stress ball. Um, <laughs> well, I, 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 shut up, I'm getting four grand for this. <laughs> Would you like to hear the noise? Uh, more than anything. So, in other words, <laughs> it's a dead man's voice in a sphere. Ramesh in, because it was supposed to be generally satisfying. There's only a few losers here who are addicted to nicotine. You're one of them, mate. <laughs> that didn't go as well as I hoped. <laughs> I thought go aggressive, you didn't go with me, you know. It's backfired, I look like a prick now. <laughs> Anyone who makes me a lovingly prepared fish dish is going to win this task. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first task is Mr. Wow. Tim Key. Congratulations, Tim. I, I feel like the vape <laughs> was the best one. Although, I am a collector. I do enjoy a good sticker album. Get the lowest golf score using eggs. You must complete the five holes using chicken's eggs. Go boil the egg. Um, I have uh, played golf in the past. 
played with Bing Crosby back in 34. <laughs> You have to hit them a bit harder as they bleed. Oh, oh come on! Oh, this is rough, man. Please tell me Tim Keys is just like, I'm gonna go boil this egg. That top's a bit eggy. <laughs> then there's five holes of this as well. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> I don't even know if morally I'm allowed to do this. Three eggs left to do this and that. Feels like otherwise there might not be any eggs left in the world. Mesh, stop cracking them. Now you're just getting angry. You'll have noticed it, but one genuinely amazing chip shot there. Frank Skinner, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Roshin continued to beautifully caress the egg around the course. <laughs> and then the vegan, wow, well, lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate chicken so much? I don't hate chicken. <laughs> We ran out of eggs. I asked for more eggs, but I was denied more eggs. Yeah, because oh. we were worried about the chicken community dying out. <laughs> so, Frank, you took 32 shots, seven minutes and five eggs. You got a score of 1,096. Have you played golf before, Roche? No. She did pretty well. Roisin took 40 shots in just four minutes using six eggs. She got um, 1,000 points. Wow. She did pretty good. Can I go in and boil an egg? Yeah, good work. Hang on. I don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but if you boil the living shit out of it... Oh, he's doing this exploit trick again. This is the big one. See, look at the urgency that Tim has. Oh my god. What's up? Tim just keeps cutting tennis balls open and putting stuff inside, putting stuff inside them. It's a great strategy. Strategy. Tim, 39 shots, 10 minutes, three eggs, 1,200 points. So if we're, if we're all happy with the rules, which we're not, <laughs> then it would go... You mean Rogine? Are you serious? I'm just looking at his face, he's so cross. Well, I didn't sort of say it at the time because I thought I was going to run away with this one, but swept them, uh, sweeping's not what I didn't sweep the whole you time. You swept most no, of the I time. Didn't. I didn't. Okay, I'm the only one who didn't break the egg on the ramp. So if you're looking for golf skills... <laughs> <laughs> She always pings her bra when she's pleased with herself. <laughs> I mean, but surely I should have 6,000 points No, 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 the lowest is better. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think let's... No, let's listen to Roisin. Give her... Give her that. <laughs> In that case, Roisin Conaty is to win. Roisin wow. Conaty wins! Roisin wins the golf challenge? She was doing a bit of a sweep. I'm, I'm kind of with Tim on this one. Stage a realistic blooper oh, for oh, my home movie. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this sounds fun. I want them to do. I want them to do a blooper film because those are the things that I find funniest in life. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Great. Behind the scenes of Toss. Just before we roll, just let Ramesh do his jazz hands <laughs> one more time. Just behind the scenes of Toss. <laughs> Is there a balloon inside this cake or something? You guys suck. Alex, sorry. it's me, I told it. I'm so sorry. I... Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I, I told him to. That was lame as shit. Yeah, Ramesh, you should have taken control of that challenge because that reeked of Rogine. <laughs> Funny stuff, unfortunately for you, was mainly done by my assistant. <laughs> but when I saw it back, the camera work, you kind of miss the fall. You missed the fall. Yeah, it was terrible camera work. Why were you zoomed in so much? Rising and entertaining blooper. And, and if anything, they're almost too method in, in the way that they carried that out. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> it is a lot shitter than I thought it was going to look. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I thought this must be some like off cuts version <laughs> of, of, of the thing. And then I waited for the reveal and then there was none. And then we had to defend that dog shit. <laughs> And I feel I gave an impassioned speech, but I didn't believe a word of it. <laughs> I knew it. 
knew it. I knew it. By the way, if you did skip the intro, uh, you can get the next two episodes of Taskmaster on my Patreon right now. Patreon.com slash FWCI. And uh, I'll be uh, uploading them on there two weeks before they go up on the main channel. Main channel. Say that right. Uh, ah! oh. <laughs> Great camera work there. You're right, Brad. Brad. <laughs> and you get to see him on the crash pad as well. Oh wow! Yeah, good work, guys. Good work. Yeah, good. <laughs> It's going to be a borderline decision. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Incredible. And the first thing I want to know is, I want to know about Brad and Jeff. <laughs> I, want, I want to know something of those guys' backstory. What is the relationship with Brad and Jeff? Every year they think it's going to go fine. And every year there's a bloody calamity. <laughs> <laughs> Brad and Jeff are our winners. <laughs> Congratulations, Brad and Jeff. So well, that's Tim and um, Frank. Frank uh, is in second on eight. Tim has ten points. Make the best meal for the taskmaster. Uh, using ingredients beginning with every letter of the alphabet. You have a total of two hours. Your time starts now. Oh, my God. That would be a lot of fun, but... <sighs> and I don't know. I'd probably go with, like, a pizza with like, and make the dough as well. I don't know. Then you can just put whatever you want on the top. Get a whole bunch of herbs. What starts with X and Z? Zucchini, I guess. <laughs> Bees are sod. What are you doing, Tim? Bacon. Are you even allowed to write the word bacon? Yes, I'm allowed to write the word bacon. <laughs> <laughs> that just leaves you with the X. Mm. But there's no... I don't even know a food that has 26 ingredients. Paella? Tell you what, I would not want to be the person that has to go and, like, get all this stuff for them to cook. Although it just says, a, what was it, a, a meal or a feast? I don't know, you could probably just be like, here's a PlayStation, enjoy your meal. And he might love it. You like it? Are you serious? It's quite nice. It's the goat's cheese <laughs> and the anchovies. They're a powerful combination. <laughs> I mean, it looks appalling. <laughs> What's the name of the cocktail? Cocktail. <laughs> I almost feel like I don't have to drink it because of the smell. That's enough. I like cocktail. Thank you, Roshan. Hey, you're welcome. How is that 26 ingredients in all of that? What is going on here? Who's uh, you for umbrella? <laughs> I did a cocktail umbrella. I had to have a cocktail umbrella. I was giving him a cocktail. Yeah, that's true. The cocktail was made of vermouth and red wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is nearly a pizza from Josh. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi, as they say in Italy. Can I join you? I'd love that. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for no, the thank food. thank you. That looks like that, like, fancy pants pizza that is way overpriced and really not that good. But it looks very posh. So, Josh is very culinary, culinarily um, capable. You're saying thin and crispy. It looks soggy and gross. Well, thank you, Josh. All right, Josh did pretty good. If I tell you the look is more realistic than the flavour, that's going to give me an idea. Is that faking? Ramesh. Come on, man. I know you've ever had proper bacon. Oh, this has gone bad. You can't fake bacon, man. I saw a video the other day of a little girl bawling her eyes out because um, meat is animals. And she's like, but I can't stop eating bacon. It just sort of t didn't really taste to anything. Just on, on. Party, party, fruit salad. That's lovely. <laughs> Thank you for the meal. Thank you. Okay, pretty, um, pretty average effort, I guess. The xylophone was a nice touch. I do feel a little bit comfortable in the fact that I feel like I could outcook all of these guys. Do you know what I, mean? I, was, I was doing it for your own safety and I was trying to help you sort of live a more ethical life. <laughs> do you want to see a man cook meat? I want to see a man deal with meat. That man did it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what'd you do, Frank? I cut a centre section in the steak and then use that to house the hollandaise potato. This is watercress down. Watercress down? Nice to conjure up the image of the rabbit. Bear in mind, it's called an ugly fruit and vegetable no, salad. You've so. done exactly that. It's ugly in the mouth. <laughs> so, presentation-wise, it's exceptional. It's an excellent meal. Thank you, Frank. All Thank right. you. Tim. Tim. What has Tim done? So much texture in that meal. Yeah, it's very, very different to um, Tim's. He had like dog food and all sorts of shit, hot oh, Tim. <laughs> Why are you guys all cooking rabbit, uh, by the way? Is that still a little big thing over there? I don't think I've, I've, I've never eaten rabbit before in my life. <laughs> Is that his vomit bowl? <laughs> oh no, that's a pheasant. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tim, you prick. That's less good, that one. That one didn't taste nice. <laughs> if somebody served this to you, you would, you would not remain in contact with them. I've served it to you. And so it ends. <laughs> in medieval, but then it had umbongo and all brown. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you've got to admire my ambition. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just? <laughs> I just love the first thing that you said was that this is actually quite tasty, and the chef went, really? <laughs> uh, Ramesh is in second, simple as that. I mean, clearly the best meal there by a country mile was Mr. Frank Skinner is the winner. Oh, of the yeah, yeah, right. All right, that, what does that do with the score? That would even everybody up, wouldn't it? Alex Horn is pretty fearless, by the way. He was straight in with all of that stuff. The two people who could win it still are Tim and Frank, who were both on 13 points. Oh. So Tim and Frank. Frank is always in the hunt. Put the blue sweets in the empty bowl. Most blue sweets wins. Non-blue sweets will be subtracted from your total. You have 100 seconds. Pick that bitch up. Fucked up. Num, 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 num. Straight in the mouth. Spit out the blue ones. Lock it in. If you've seen the crystal maze, it's a similar thing, but with smarties and boxing gloves. No, I don't have want you to seen the paraphrase, and I want to hear the actual task. <laughs> Wearing boxing gloves, Ramesh. Put the blue yeah. sweets in the empty bowl. OK. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's been done. Num, pur. Num, pur. You're done. Show some names out for it. What are you idiots doing? Yes! Go, Ramesh. Oh, Josh. So now what are you going to do, Tim? <laughs> I hope Ramesh wins because that is my, um, that was my plan. I could really go some Smarties right about now as well. Whoa! She also got 2,571 non-blue sweets, so she scored minus 2,143. <laughs> okay, that's how it works. Tim Key, 21 blues and no non-blues. Whoa! Wow. What does that do to the scores? <laughs> that's what we're about to find out. <laughs> wow, what does that do to the scores? <laughs> Tim Key has won his first episode of Taskmaster. So well, that's his only win, or his first win. To find out which contestant won the most Ooh. points. Okay, I reckon it's Frank, for sure. The overall winner was Mr. Josh Whittaker. Oh my God, by one point. Holy shit, he is tiny. Especially, <laughs> he looks like his son. Well done, son. Here's your participation trophy for Karate Camp. I can't believe Josh won the entire series, though. Oh, Chowder's not supposed to be, like, really liquidy, is it? I thought it was supposed to be a little bit thicker. <laughs> but why is that man doing karate on the <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I feel like a karate trophy is suitable for any occasion. Okay, that was a lot of fun, and I, I can see that they've, like, laid the groundwork for what will evolve and become even more funny as the series go on. That was a lot of fun. I, um, I, I guess I have no idea who's going to be coming back for the next, um, 
series, I guess. I know that Tim Key gets brought on as a consultant. I don't know if that's after this series or if he gets another run at it, but he was very entertaining throughout the entire series. Ramesh definitely had his moments as well. Frank Skinner is hilarious. We used to get uh, Badil and Skinner unplanned here in Australia, and I remember watching it. I, I'm trying to remember exactly what the format was. Wasn't it just the two of them sitting there doing like... Um, improvised kind of stuff I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was but they had a great selection of comedians even Rogine even though she's completely inept at times she's got a great sense of humor about it and she does have some pretty weird um uh, happenings in her past that Greg keeps bringing up which that alone makes her presence on the show um entertaining but don't forget patreon.com slash fwci if you want early access to taskmaster episode one and episode two of season two are already up on patreon now and uh episode one of season two will be going up on the public channel next week so we won't even miss a week it'll be taskmaster every saturday uh sunday so it's going to be like movies on saturday taskmaster on sunday brooklyn on monday Shits creek on tuesday ted lasso on wednesday for another couple of weeks and then just whatever i need to fit in in between that as well it's a, it's a stack schedule plenty to enjoy so make sure you do subscribe and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace <laughs>